So, um, I've been, um, I've been, uh, uh, I've got a, this little personal confession. I've been, um, I've been going to see a psychologist recently. Um, uh, no, I know, well, I know, I know. It's weird because obviously on stage I look like totally well adjusted and, and <laughs> so it comes as a surprise. But um, I, I've been um, speaking to this site. It's not a big deal. I'm just talking about stuff, few little things that I think I, you know, could probably just make my life a bit easier. And one of the issues I have is um, with anger. Um, <laughs> so I don't get, I don't get angry. Um, so, so the issue is not really an anger issue. It's that I, I don't know how to express anger, which is nice. You know, I'm basically, it, it's nice to be diplomatic and stuff, but I, it comes from a fear of confrontation, I think. So, um, so I've been talking to this because I, I, wor I worry about what's happening to all the anger, that latent anger that I'm not expressing, you know? So anyway, he, he reckons what I should do is write my feelings down, thereby expressing myself without having to confront anyone so that I don't, you know, um, bottle it up. And um, so I've been doing that. I've, I've been doing some writing and I've written a poem, which is really helpful to write. Um, I think it might be even more helpful to sort of do in, in front of a sympathetic, non-judgmental kind of <laughs> neutral crowd like you guys. So this is, um, this is my poem. Um, it's called, um, I've, I've given it a title, it's called uh, Angry, <laughs> or in brackets, Feet. A bit nervous because it's a bit, it's like a bit more personal. <sighs> Sometimes I get a bit angry, but you couldn't tell. No, you couldn't tell unless you looked real closely. Sometimes I get a bit angry, but it's all right. Yes, it's all right because I keep it out of sight, inside, deep inside. I breastfed till I was nine. <laughs> Which my <laughs> doctor says is fine. <clears throat> and he also says I deal with anger better if I wrote about myself in a poem or a letter. My mother was a fucking bitch! <laughs> Caring lady. She taught me all I know. Although I was a little slow, she never gave up. She never let me slap down. <laughs> Although she spent a lot of time at the neighbor's house when my dad was out of town. I didn't walk till I was seven. Or talk till I was ten. But neither did Napoleon, according to my... <laughs> fucking doctor. Who has certificates in frames to substantiate his dodgy fucking... <laughs> claims. My father left my mother for the love of a poontang <laughs> another, and I have a bastard brother who I've never really known because my dad moved up to Sydney and he doesn't have a bullshit, you fat cunt. <laughs> Telephone. <laughs> In primary school, I had trouble making ashtrays. friends, an issue which has become somewhat of a trend, the origin of which I cannot pretend does not perplex me, although my fucking doctor says it's cool and that loads of fat bridge. Shut up, I'm not <laughs> Kids at school have problems with communication and that a course of medication would be wise and combined with more honest self-expression could help me with my issues with emotional repression. And at 200 bucks a session, I think I'll take the thieving bastard fucking chap's advice. <laughs> so, I quite like porn, photography, <laughs> and books on guns, history. And I'd like to be a... I'd like to be a politician! Vet. 
and I feel as I get older, I'm more in control of my violent tendencies. And, and when I die, cool. <laughs> die, I'll have no regrets. And I feel that all this writing is really puffy, exciting, and my, my fucking doctor would be proud because I feel a lot less angry and I'm saying stuff out loud and I'm letting anger out. Like today in our last session, when I taught the quack a lesson, because he said I'm not progressing, said I wasn't moving forward. So I said, well, let's see how you move without your fucking legs. <laughs> and I tied him to his chair and I pulled out my machete and I listened to him beg and then I cut his fucking feet off. <laughs> and while he lay there bleeding, I used his feet to kick him in the head. Thank you, giggling cunts, very much.